Hey y'all, this is your K-pop auntie Carly. I have uh, Grace in the kitty cam with me today. She is taking herself a lovely nap. And this is a Hans Alien. Uh, yeah, Skiz Records. It definitely requests Friday, and y'all have wanted me to get to this one, so I am getting to this one. Um, I don't know if I have much else to say about that. I have my coffee with me. It's fantastic. All right, I might get distracted by the cat every once in a while because I find her adorable. You're adorable. She doesn't care. Okay. Volume. Good. Let's get this. <laughs> Piano, like it. Sounds like a pencil. The only thing predictable about life is it's some predictable ability. Anyone can be anything. You can be everything. going on, doesn't he? Alright, first impression pretty darn good. Uh, I, I like the piano. I like the percussion on it, and I'm gonna guess it'll be a nice kind of uh, simple sound to it, which is fantastic. Simple sounds are good. Um, piano and percussion. It's awesome. It's a good, good thing. Good things to rap to. Is that, is that I think it's him harmonizing with himself. Oh, we got a guitar in there too. Okay. Definitely want to know what that's, uh, what those lyrics are. Y'all know if you're on this channel much that I check out the lyrics afterwards. And, uh, that was definitely the, th those lines were definitely the lines that got the most emotionality out of them. So I'm definitely going to check that out. Yeah, I'm a fan of that one. That's, uh, I liked the, 
Stray Kids is obviously known for their kind of noisy music, and I love their hype noisy music that has so much going on in it. But there is also really something to be said about just kind of the more simple, clean. You just got the piano, you just got the percussion, you got the electric guitar coming in here a little bit. And I like, I, I, so I like the um, musical score on this and you know the Han's voice is fantastic and he has a great range he can rap and he can sing so I enjoyed that um would I playlist it um I, yeah I would playlist I'm just I think I need to make a new playlist uh because I have like my I, I have a get her done playlist that's like if I need to really get moving it'll get my blood pumping and then I have a hard focus and a soft focus playlist. The hard focus being, um, like, it's not very hype stuff. I can still, like, sit in my office and focus on something, but it'll kind of, like, get me, like, if I'm starting to drag, it'll kind of, like, help wake me up type of deal. Soft focus is energy level right about here. <laughs> energy level way down here. Um, and I think this is between soft and hard, so I don't know. <laughs> How do you, uh do your playlist is like how songs make you feel or like what you're looking to get out of them or i don't know how to do that one anyways lyrics good all right i gotta kiss my cat because i think that cat right there is the most adorable thing in the world you cutest thing ever all right lyrics oh yeah i did uh the the lyrics that i did see there that were in english you know it do give me an idea what the song is about feeling like you're an alien on this earth um being lonely and not caring about depression <laughs> and i'm guessing that was uh not like yeah i don't care about it so much as a i've heard it i think i've heard him say before the like pushing through it type of deal and I know that Han has um, had some rough times uh, surrounding, you know, depression and anxiety. So it'll be interesting to see what he has to say about it. Uh, either way, it'll probably be a pretty relatable song because feeling like an alien, feeling like you don't belong, like everybody has felt that. You know, whether it's just on the earth, <laughs> you know, that's about as broad as it can get, you know, feeling like you don't belong here in general, or just feeling like you don't belong in a certain situation, feeling like you don't belong, like, around certain people, you know, everybody has felt that at one time or another, so we'll see how the lyrics go here. Predictability. Be anything, you can be everything. Uh, fell, on, fell on the earth. I'm an alien on this earth. Okay, yeah, I was just <laughs> saying that that is the broad aspect of it, of feeling like you don't belong, just like you kind of just fell here. Yeah. I don't look like I belong somewhere alone, no matter how I smile, I feel so lonely. I don't look like I belong somewhere alone. No matter how I smile, I feel so lonely. Yeah, so I guess that's um, appearances versus reality. Like, you know, Han is this big, this outgoing guy, life of the party, big old smile, entertaining people, saying no matter how much, like, he smiles and is outwardly that guy, he feels lonely on the inside. And, you know, he's not the only stray kid to have um, expressed the feeling of loneliness. And he you know, also saying, I don't look like I belong somewhere alone. That's probably because, yeah, he's the that outwardly energetic guy. And you, you wouldn't expect him to, like, be alone. And you, you always expect those kind of guys, girls, whatever, to, <coughs> pardon me, to be, or like, to have people around them because people want to be around them. So it's, it, you, you don't look like the kind of person who's just, like, alone off by yourself feeling like you don't belong because you just look so much like you belong anywhere you go yeah 
an alien that wants to belong to people on Earth. I make a noise and speak, but no one listens. So they yeah, kind of, again, distancing himself from, like, everybody else. An alien that wants to belong to the people of Earth. So that's an extreme distance between him and everybody else on planet Earth. I make a noise and speak, but no one listens. That's, yeah, I don't know if that's, um... Like, feeling like you're not understood ba on a very basic level. You know, like, making noise, no one, no one listens. Like, it, it kind of feels like no one understands me type of deal. Like, but even a step beyond no one understands me is no one's even listening. You know, it's one thing to be the life of the party and always have the smile and everything, and people actually take you seriously and listen to you. It's like, big differences. I land on an unfamiliar place that I was filled with expectations. My eyes my eyes keep on watering when the dark night comes. Even my confidence might annoy someone. And yeah, I get I get that too. Very, very confident individuals um usually annoy people. <laughs> it's, or well not that they annoy people, it's that uh, really confident people usually are, they're not the norm. Honestly, like, really confident people are not the norm. Um, and uh, I know, I'm guessing that Han probably wrote this early on. I, let me, um, actually check the date on the Skiz Record one. Oh, do, do, do. oh that's actually from 2021. Okay. Doesn't mean he wrote it, because Lord knows they're constantly putting out stuff from years ago. But, but yeah, his confidence is um, really up there. <laughs> so, yeah, I can see that. So, I, so, I, so, so I'm stuttering. So, I live like I'm dead, and eventually fell remote. Fell remote, okay. So, I'm, I don't know the, if that's the best translation. Like, I trust this translator for the most part. <clears throat> I don't know if that's the best flow of it. <laughs> you know, translations are hard, especially with lyrics, especially with rap. Uh, but I think I get the gist of it. Uh, so I live like I'm dead. Ouch. You know, that's that sucks. So I... He tries to tamp himself down, is what that sounds like. Because, like, even this confidence might annoy someone. You know, it's like trying to tamp down on yourself. And eventually fell remote. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, remote means, well, obviously you have your role for your television, but remote means away from, you know, I'm, I'm guessing the, I'm going, if you know Korean, <laughs> I don't, um, I'm guessing it has, the remote has the same connotation in English as it does in Korean being, you know, far away. So I'm guessing, like, the, a better lyrical translation might be, and eventually I became far away from everyone else. You know, eventually I just kind of fell into the spot where I was remote from everyone else. I was out there by myself. Um, even though, which is kind of sad because, you know, he, he came to Earth. He came here and he was all happy and he was all excited and, like, he wanted to get going and do stuff. And then it just didn't work out like that. You know, it's just people were even annoyed at his confidence. And so he started just, like walking like he was dead, like a zombie, and just not expressing himself, and eventually it just kind of fell off by himself. Even if I was in the same place as them, I was alien. Yeah, that's exactly that, uh, that feeling, like we were talking about, everybody feels like they don't belong. It, in one time or another, we all have felt like we don't belong, we all... We all get those uh, feelings of just not belonging in a situation. And unfortunately, it sounds like he's expressing that like everywhere he went. I'm a loner who flew from the universe and landed full of wounds. It's a quiet night. It's so dark. 
with my low voice. Well, that's uh, that. Yeah, that's that's makes one sad, huh? Um, because it does remind me a little bit of maybe his journey from Malaysia, even into Korea. Because we have, you know, I'm a loner who flew from the universe and landed full of wounds. And yeah, he, I mean, he did travel into Korea. Um, so there was a actual traveling that took place there. And sounds like he's saying he, like, he was already full of wounds, you know, when he arrived. Um, and I, I, because I, I don't think this is like the <laughs> birth, <laughs> you know. Um, it, this is all an analogy for something, and I'm getting a little bit of a sense that it's his analogy of you know, him coming from outside of Korea into Korea, and like how he felt entering into the K-pop industry, into his trainee days, um, and that he had a lot of lonely nights, quiet nights, dark nights, low voice, you know, the, and the, I'm guessing the low voice it being like, even feeling like he needed to speak quietly, you know, it's like, yeah. I will make it true in between those stars. I'm just lonely. Someone reach out your hand to me. Man, what, what a plea. That's... I'm glad somebody did. <laughs> I'm glad somebody did. Like, if this really is a song that I'm getting the feeling that it's about, his, you know, his coming to Korea, about his trainee days, I'm glad somebody finally did reach out to him in the form of Stray Kids. Not that that, you know, quote-unquote solved everything. You know, when you have such deeply ingrained, you know, I wish, I'm trying to think of a better word than issues, because issues has negative connotations, you know. Um, but when you have such deeply ingrained beliefs about yourself, and how you view the world, and how you view yourself, it's not like, it's just like, oh, hey, I met some friends, things are better now. It's <laughs> not how it works. I fell on the earth. I'm an alien on this earth. I don't look like I belong somewhere alone. No matter how I smile, I feel so lonely. An alien that wants to belong to people on Earth, I make a noise and speak, but no one listens. That's right, I don't exist. Every day is, every day it's filled. I carry my worries about myself. That's right, I don't exist. Every day it's filled. I don't know what it's is referring to there. Um... I don't know if it's is referring to the day. That's right, I exist. It's filled. I don't know if it's is every day. If every day is filled, I carry my worries about myself. Every day I don't exist. Every day it's filled. Let me see if he breaks that into three lines. Hang on, to the flow. Yeah. So that is three different lines. Um, that's right, I don't exist. Every day it's filled. I carry my worries about myself. And yeah, we all carry our worries about ourselves around. And like, I'm wondering if like it's if it's filled is also like the worries. You know, every day it's filled. Every, every day is filled with worries, you know. So that's a tougher line for me to uh, decipher. But I don't exist. Um, kind of goes back to the, you know, I'm walking around like I'm dead, you know, I'm living like I'm dead, you know, I just don't exist, I'm just filling my days, you know, I'm just, and, but I have all of these worries about myself, but no one cares, I'm guessing is the line that's coming up here. <laughs> Even if no one cares, I'm tired about my promise that I won't fall down. Yeah. <laughs> the, I mean, these lines hurt, but they're necessary to verbalize because, again, a lot of us, if not everybody, every single person has felt this way. The feeling of being tired and no one caring. Like, I'm, I'm tired, 
no one cares because you just have to keep going to some degree. You know, you just have to keep going. Um, this is me sitting here thinking because it looks like the even if no one cares actually might refer to about my promise that I won't fall down. Maybe not I'm tired. Even if no one cares, I'm tired about... Yeah, I think it's even if no one cares, I think uh, I'm tired is an independent clause in there. It's a thing. Even if it can be taken out. Even if no one cares about my promise that I won't fall down. But you know, and it, I'm tired is kind of an interjection in there saying, man, I'm tired. And nobody cares. Nobody cares not only, I'm sure that he's tired, but nobody cares about the promise that he won't fall down. Like, they all have their own thing they're doing. <clears throat> you know, if this is about his uh, trainee days, you know, all of those trainees have their own thing that they're trying to do. They're all trying to debut as well. They're all trying to train as well. They're all trying to not fall down as well. And to a certain degree, if somebody else falls down, that's a little bit more room for them to move forward. So it's, a, it's competitive. Now the sky that I look at is filled with countless dreams. It greets me, so don't care about depression. Okay, so that was the line that I, I saw in um, in English. Depressando? Is that, uh, is that actually um, the word for depression in Korean? Don't care about depression. It greets me. <clears throat> Which makes me wonder if those are all supposed to be different as well, because depress depresciando is not... Uh, <coughs> Or no, that's about, that's, because he said that in English, don't care about depression, and then there's a do right there, so that's, I don't know what do means, unfortunately. Um, okay, what was the previous line? So, it greets me, is the sky filled with dreams. The sky filled with the dreams greets me, so don't care about depression. Which, I, it feels like... Obviously, I don't think that Han is saying, yeah, don't care about depression. <laughs> like, I don't think that he is saying that. Um, so much as, like, there are so many dreams. Like, he has so many dreams that it's the feeling of the necessity to push away the depression, the worries that he's carrying around all day, the feeling of not belonging. You know, it's like, and, and that is also very relatable, feeling like you need to push all of those things away in order to, like, achieve your dreams. Like, you got this dream and you just got to ignore everything and just keep hustling, keep, you know, hustle culture, man. Just keep going, just keep going, and you'll eventually get there. You know, Han did. There's, I can only imagine how many thousands of uh, men and women, boys and girls in Korea that do not debut every single year. <coughs> Apologize for my cough I have. That's right, I should live. If I collapse, even my dreams will go down the drain. He's saying, yeah, so... I don't know, maybe that is him saying that I need to push away my depression and just ignore it for a while, saying, like, that's right, I should live. <clears throat> I am sorry. I had a chest cold earlier, and my cough, like, it lingers. When I have a chest cold, my cough lingers for way too long. That's right, I should live. If I collapse, even my dreams will go down the drain. It, but yeah, I think that is is him saying, I just have to keep going. Like, if, if I don't, I need to, like, I need to live. I need to not subject myself to that depression. I need to, like, not let it rule over me because like, I, need to, I need to keep going, you know? I need to, like, not just lay in bed like I want to and stare at the ceiling. I need to keep going. If I because if I collapse, like, all of these dreams that I was just talking about, all those dreams that fill the, the sky, they'll go down the drain. Like, if, if I stop, everything stops. Even my dreams will go down the drain. Even the air I breathe in this place. Even if it hurts a lot, I can endure it. Aren't you satisfied with your dream? Interesting. <laughs> I like that he poses the question. 
this, even if it hurts a lot, I can't endure it. So he's saying, like, all of this stuff that I'm talking about, being the loneliness, the depression, the, you know, the worries and all, like, I can endure it. He's, he's trying to say that, hey, I have the inner strength at the same time to endure it. I can do it. And uh, aren't you satisfied with your dream being a question just kind of thrown out there? And some people wind up not being satisfied like i like i just said they're between all the companies in uh, south korea that there have to be hundreds if not thousands of people who like that was their dream and they get into it and they're like oh god like maybe not <laughs> you know those <clears throat> and so there have to be a lot of people who wind up finding out that like in this specific arena Maybe they're not satisfied with it. Like, maybe they don't want it after all. Cap. That's right, no one wanted me. I was too young to care for everyone's curiousness. As time passes by, I become an adult. Even if I'm not perfect, I proudly comfort myself. It's a lonely night, it's a quiet night, it's so dark, with my low voice. <laughs> I will make it true between those stars. Someone reach out your hand to me. Hold on. I am being sent a message. message received <sighs> yeah this is one of those um <clears throat> this is one of the ones that like really gets to you because you're like you want people that you at least appreciate <laughs> it's like, like i don't know han you know but i i appreciate him as an individual and like you don't want people to feel this way and but at the same time, like, we all, to a certain degree, feel this way. We all, to a certain degree, know what this is like. like this is a very human song. Um, dealing with just the, the feeling of not belonging. Dealing with the feeling of needing to push through your loneliness. <clears throat> needing to push through your worries. Needing to push through moments of depression in your life. You know, just to just keep going and struggling with keeping going it, it's one of those things where it's like it's this balance because yeah if you take the time out for yourself which i know he did take some time out for himself if you take some time out for yourself like there are times in your life when taking the time out may cause certain dreams and goals to collapse. You know, Han didn't take time out for himself when he was a trainee, when he was trying to debut, when it was early, early on. You know, it's... So, to a certain extent, like, yeah, you... Like, if you want to make stuff happen, you do have to push through some stuff in your life. You, you do. Um, on the other hand, yeah, he is absolutely a guy who took some time to do that. You know, and it's like... It's unfortunately sometimes a matter of just timing, you know, it's, and 
there are there are times when it gets so rough that you do like no matter what you're going through and it, it, like in life like no matter what situation you are trying to push through there comes a time when you do need to like just kind of stop and make sure that you are healthy and okay um and there are other times when you can when you have the ability to be like han here and say like i have the strength to take this like i have the strength to endure this right now you know so and you push through because you got your dreams and your dreams are supposed to be the thing that satisfies you you know and sometimes they do sometimes accomplishing your dreams come with such a high satisfaction that you are willing to put all of this on your shoulders and there are other times when it's just too much and you need to step back so i i I hope that uh, everybody out there takes some time to talk with people and kind of explore themselves and know which is which, you know, know which is the time that they can endure through and which is the time where they just need to step back and take, take a moment, you know. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to go eat an apple. I am going to go eat an apple and then react <laughs> to some more songs. So, I'm out. <laughs>